20 high yield medical triads you should know. Pay attention to the three key parts and pause to read for high yield associations and some clinical pearls. Let's go. Number one, we have varicose triad. This helps us identify the three main factors of why a blood clot develops within the deep veins. You're going to remember she, stasis, hypercoagulability, and endothelial injury. These three increase your risk for deep vein thrombosis and pulmonary embolism. Next is two, Beck's triad, the classic cardiac tamponade signs. This is the three Ds, distant heart sounds, decreased arterial blood pressure, hypotension of course, and distended jugular veins. Essentially fluid around the heart squeezes it, making it hard to pump. Okay, now let's take a look at three, Cushing's triad. We'll look at the signs of raised intracranial pressure, hypertension, bradycardia, and irregular breathing, a dangerous sign of brain herniation. Moving to number four, Wernicke's encephalopathy triad. This is due to thiamine B1 deficiency. Think of CAN for confusion, ataxia, and N is for nystagmus because it's most common, but it really involves a wide range of ocular motor dysfunction. It's often seen in alcoholics. And remember, always give thiamine before glucose. Number five, meningitis triad. The classic signs of meningitis, fever, a stiff neck, and a headache and phototobia. Also, don't forget to check for Koenig's and Burdinsky signs. And a lumbar puncture can confirm the diagnosis. You can add AMS and seizures for meningoencephalitis. Number six, fat embolism triad. Typically after a long bone fracture, you have respiratory distress, neurological symptoms, and petechial rash. Usually shows up within a couple of days after injury. Number seven, Whipple's triad for diagnosing hypoglycemia. Symptoms of low blood sugar, a confirmed low plasma glucose, and symptoms of relief after glucose intake. Classic for insulinoma and sulfonylurea use. Number eight is Meckel's diverticulum, the rule of twos. Occurs in 2% of the population, located about two feet from the ileocecal valve, and is two inches long. There is painless rectal bleeding, ectopic gastric mucosa, and failure to involute vitiline duct. It often contains ectopic gastric tissue and can cause painless bleeding in kids. Number nine is Charcot's triad. Signs of acute cholangitis. Think the three C's. Colic right upper quadrant pain, chills and fever, and color change for jaundice. If the patient also has hypotension and altered mental status, that's Reynolds Pentad. It's a medical emergency. Number 10 is Borhoff's triad, seen in spontaneous esophageal rupture. You have chest pain, subcutaneous emphysema, and usually follows after forceful vomiting. Okay, we are halfway there, but before we go to the next 10 triads, we can't do these videos without you. If you hit the subscribe button, we'll make sure to do a lot more of these helpful lessons. 11 is next for Bud Chiari triad. It's seen in hepatic vein thrombosis. We have abdominal pain, ascites, and hepatomegaly, often caused by hypercoagulable states like polycythemia vera. Number 12, Eisenmenger's triad. Shunt reversal in congenital heart disease cyanosis, pulmonary hypertension, and clubbing of fingers and toes. It happens when a left to right shunt reverses to right to left due to pulmonary hypertension. Number 13, Hutchinson's triad. Findings for congenital syphilis, notched teeth, interstitial keratitis, and sensorineural deafness. Number 14, Vogt's triad, or also known as tuberous sclerosis triad. Seizures, intellectual disability, and facial angiofibromas. Pause to read this for some more high yield info. Number 15 is multiple endocrine neoplasia type 1, MEN1. The three Ps, pituitary adenomas, pancreatic endocrine tumors, and parathyroid tumors. Number 16, cart Agner's triad, primary ciliary dyskinesia, bronchiectasis, chronic sinusitis, and situs inversus is caused by defective dining arms impairing the ciliary function. Number 17, triad of felties, a complication of rheumatoid arthritis. Here's a mnemonic you should know for the syndrome. Santa, splenomegaly, anemia, neutropenia, thrombocytopenia, and arthritis. Number 18, Pancoast triad, 
a superior sulcus lung tumor. Compression of the brachial plexus and sympathetic chain leads to the symptoms of shoulder pain, Horner syndrome, which includes ptosis, meiosis, and anhydrosis, and atrophy of the hand muscles. Number 19, Albright's triad, McCune Albright syndrome. You have cafe au lait spots, polyostotic fibrous dysplasia, and precocious puberty, and also Cushing syndrome. is caused by mosaic mutation in the GNAS gene. And finally, number 20, Wrigler's triad. It's found in gallstone ileus, which is a rare complication of cholelithiasis. We have pneumobilia, ectopic gallstones, and small bowel obstruction. Diagnosis is usually made on imaging, and surgery is often required. And that's 20 triads in minutes to boost your knowledge and crush your exams. Watch this again and pause where you need to. And look, if you comment round two below, we'll make another video on medical triads. If you'd like to see more of this lesson, head over to our Instagram page and TikTok channel at rev.med. We'll have this lesson along with many other topics for you to study. By the way, don't forget to do questions. Are you learning something from our videos? Well then click the subscribe button to your right. We are releasing high yield lessons and ways for you to get ahead in class. Be sure to follow us on Instagram to take interactive quizzes and view your favorite diagrams. Nothing can stop you, but only if you believe in yourself. You got this.